What's up, YouTube? This is my first video since the recent news. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, I'll give you a hint. My name is no longer RC Phantom Pro. My name is now, well, one of my names is now Phantom. What was it? I changed it to something. Um, damn it! I for fucking forgot what it was. Oh yeah, Phantom Assassin. I'm a dumbass. I changed my name to Phantom Assassin, so you can still call me Phantom, if you want. Uh, I, I want to show you a few things on Fallout 3, Game of the Year edition that I got last Wednesday. Uh, but first I want to show you my trophies real quick. Only at 59%, but it's very good for a really long game. Uh, let's go down here to the DLCs. Uh, collect all alien. I I couldn't even find all of them. Uh, I completed um Mothership Zeta. What the hell was it? All locations within Point Lookout. After you get past level 20, it's the easiest thing in the world. I just haven't done it yet. Um, did it? Did it? Did it my side. Oh, uh, level 30 with good karma. I'm on like level 25, or not level 26. Uh, Operation Anchorage. Uh, 100 steel ingots. Free labor, uh, blah 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 blah. blah. They have safe working conditions. Oh, I have a map for this that uh, tells me where all of them are. I just haven't found them yet. 100 locations, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick 50. Oh, I'm at 49. Are you kidding me? I'm not even joking. I'm at 49 um, locks. I can't find uh, the last one, so let's boot this up. And what I'm going to be showing you is the end of the game. Like the original game, but the ending cutscene is like a tiny bit different because uh, it is the game of the year edition. Also, um, I'm going to show you the end of um, Broken Steel, the one of the best DLCs that did come out for this game. So when it takes two hours to fucking load. I will let you know. I'm going to pump up the volume. It's going to sound too loud to me, but it's going to be regular to you guys, because when Power did his end of Fallout 3, two, first it cut off, because you didn't have enough batteries, and also the, uh, you couldn't hear anything, just like his end of Saints Row 2. But this audio should be okay. Press start, continue. And I'm working with one hand right now. She ain't gonna be too fucking grand. Well, I'm not gonna fucking play with one fucking hand. So I'm gonna load up. Uh, where are you? Here, Jefferson Memorial. So this is the dead end of Fallout 3. Well, the Game of the Year edition. As I said, it's a tiny bit different, but pretty similar. Uh, let's see what we got. Damn it, more loading. I forget. Holy shit. I'm on 19 for the saving. I'm deleting it as soon as I make this video because there's no reason for me to keep it. I'm at, I'm up to like a thousand in... Oh, it changed. What the fuck? I'm only at two bobbleheads, 24 locks. The facility has been damaged during uh. the fighting. Some of it looks accidental. Some of it needs to be sabotage. There's pressure building up in holding tanks. It needs to be released now. I'm talking. The whole facility could explode. Yeah, we know. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now. Okay. Who are you the fucking first time? You're on me. Bitch. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage will be catastrophic. I don't care. Well, so much for celebrating. Let's zoom out a little bit. One of us is going to have to go in there. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'll do it, just to get a little bit of better karma. If the radiation is bad enough, you won't have much time. Mm -hmm. I won't forget what you've done here. Mm-hmm. All I have to do is go in here. It's gonna open. Oh, no, this part fucking blows. I forgot about this. I have to put in 216 with one fucking hand. All right, two. Come on. Get closer. I can't read it. You bitch. This is gonna be hard. Oh, my God. I'm at... Fucking 18 rad. I'm gonna die before I even get this. One. Six. Enter. Are you bitch? 
two, one, six. Yes, I got it. You gained karma. And I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking just so you can, um, enjoy the entire thing of the final cutscene. It's kinda long. Ooh, it's dark. <laughs> and so it was that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the lone wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child. Selflessness, compassion, honor guided this noble soul through countless trials and trials. I killed that last guy. But it was not until the end of this long road that the Lone Wanderer learned the true meaning of that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. Stepping into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity, the child followed the example of the father, sacrificing life itself for the greater good of mankind. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. <laughs> Bullshit. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, oh, not. who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close. I know, because... Huh, the struggle of survival mm -hmm. is a war without end. No shit. And war... War never changes. War never changes. The quote of 2008. Fucking badass quote. Well, that was kind of pointless. It does that for like two seconds and it's over. Alright, if this was the original game, it would end and it would go back to the original screen, but if I would have downloaded um, the DLC separately or since I got it for Fallout 3, or since I got the Game of the Year edition, this is what happens instead. Radiation level is decreased. Two weeks later. Mm-hmm. The beginning of... Broken steel. No longer have radiation sickness. They cured that for me. And I'm waking up in a hospital bed all fucked up in the Citadel. In the Citadel or whatever you want to call it. Uh, two weeks after that. I'm not going to show you the conversation. It's going to take too long. And I don't have enough time to do a second or have the end of this on the same video. So I'm going to do a part two. Alright, so stay tuned for that. Link in the description. Right here, I'll put one right here. There's going to be a link right here in front of this computer terminal, alright? So, shut the fuck up. I don't care, man.